The organ donation process is a process that can be trusted. It is a process that is very methodical. Gift of Life Michigan is the organization that is the steward of organ and tissue donation. We're one of 58 organizations like ours across the country. We serve as the bridge between the donor and the donor family and the transplant recipient. The process really starts when the person makes a decision to sign up on the Michigan Organ Donor Registry. Whether it's at the Secretary of State's office or in your church or a community event or to tell their family member at the time of their death that they want to become an organ donor. My name is Anthony Honeywell and I am a family service coordinator. What happens is the hospital will call Gift of Life and let us know that you know there's this individual that's on life support and the family um, is in the process of making end of life decisions. My first time talking to families, I don't want it to be just about organ donation. I want to learn about their loved one. I want to learn about their likes, their dislikes. And then when it's appropriate, that's when we transition to discussing organ donation and the lives that could be saved. My name is Autumn Harris and I am a Family Services Coordinator. I know and I understand that they have just lost a loved one. And I offer compassion, emotional support, and just listening to them. When someone is on the organ donor registry, at that point it is a different kind of conversation. That person has already made that decision, so what we do is we work with families on honoring that decision that their loved one has made. My name is Hannah Gonzalez and I'm the Donor Services Center trainer here at Gift of Life Michigan. The Donor Services Center serves as the hub of communication. We're working 24-7 365 days a year to juggle anything that might come through the phone line for us. Every specialist in the room has to be able to pick up the phone and not know if it's going to be a family, a medical examiner, a hospital. We help gather all of the information to make sure that those donors are eligible for donation and that their gifts are being matched with the most medically suitable recipient. The work that is performed in the lab at Gift of Life is to make sure that we are finding the best possible matches. We match organs by your antigens, the size, your length on the waiting list, as well as checking for diseases that can be transmitted. The lab's role is to match the right donor with the right recipient to eliminate the chances of rejection. The lab will receive blood from each potential donor to determine first if this donor is healthy enough to donate. The second is determining which HLA antigens are carried on the donor cells. It's gender blind, color blind, is blind to people's socioeconomic status. That is how we decide who will get the organ. My name is Mark Tudor. I'm the Director of Hospital and Recovery Services. We're very fortunate in Michigan. We have a standalone surgical center at Gift of Life. When the patients come here, we're able to take care of them like they would at any other ICU. We have two nurses in our ICU at all times. Uh, during the surgical procedure, the transplant teams come in to do the recoveries here and will actually allow the families to give us something to be read to the whole surgical team. If the families want us to play music or a song or have a prayer, it helps our recovery team focus and, and remember that we're there and there to honor that gift. From the time we get the call, we're honoring that gift. From the time that there's a match, we're honoring that gift. When we're doing recovery, we're honoring that gift. We honor life in all that we do. It's our staff's determination, their level of professionalism, and the compassion that they absolutely show to families that makes donation happen. Up to eight people's lives can be saved with organ donation, and then up to 75 people's lives can be impacted with tissue and corneo donation. We work with all religions, all races, all cultures. We're just trying to find the best outcome for the donor families and help treat the people on the waiting list. It is the most selfless gift that anyone could ever give another person, which is the gift of life. 